Welcome back to Rematures. Epic Brewing's back on a redemption tour with their barrel aged pumpkin porter. Yeah. As I said in the intro, this is an imperial pumpkin porter, but it is aged in whiskey barrels. This comes in at a, Mary, you want to guess what percent of alcohol this is? Or wait until we try it. The last one was 7%, right? Uh, I believe so. This one's going to be 10.9. Okay. Hand-selected whiskey barrels bring forth bold notes of caramel and toasted oak, which perfectly complement the beer's spices and Madagascar vanilla. Are you going to... Enjoy now or cellar for next year. Are you going to tell me how much? 8.7%. Oh. Yeah, not very high on the... Yeah. Uh, it says aged in whiskey barrels, but how long was it aged? Honestly, I was, don't know. It sounds like it was only aged for like 10 days. It was only 8.7. But it does say there's Madagascar vanilla in here. There's spices. There's pumpkin. I am hoping we get some good flavor out of this. Madagascar vanilla is what Bottle Logic uses in Thumbnail Observation. And we both love that beer, so... I feel, like I, to, I feel like I need to tell our friends why I was so misled by that ABV. Okay. Because I'm usually really close. When you tell me that you barrel age something, you're aging it for a year, two years sometimes. Maybe even more. However, you are used to breweries around us that do that. I believe barrel aging, you can put that on there as soon as you pour the beer into the barrel. Yeah, so like I said, it could be, be a day. Days. Yeah. It could be a day, it could be hours even. And just so they can then put barrel aged on there. I really hope we get some of that barrel flavor in here. I hope we get the caramel. I hope we get the vanilla. I want to taste something this time. I mean, last time we had their porter, it tasted like a solid porter, but it had no pumpkin, no spices, nothing that reminds me of the fall. I feel like Epic Brewing, you've been letting me down a lot. A lot. Like, now that I know that this is only 8% after being called barrel aged. A little closer to 9. Okay, 9% after being called, called barrel aged. Most Imperial Stouts are more than that. I do not have high hopes for this. Only because, okay, I was excited because it's barrel aged, because I like the alcohol kick, but now I know that I'm not gonna get any pumpkin in here. That's out the window for sure. How do you know? And I know. They just took their old bullshit recipe with no pumpkin and put it in a, a a barrel for a day or maybe an hour. It's gonna be the same exact thing. Not excited about this. Sorry, Epic Brewing. Send me more beer. Well, that's enough talking. Let's get to drinking. Maybe you'll change my mind. <laughs> All right, let's open this beer and hope it's better than the last one. Thank you. I mean, the one thing they got going for them is they decorate the bottle caps, which is cool. Good carbonation, uh, still definitely watery on the pour. Thank you, sir. You can smell the barrel a little bit, I guess. Yeah, some more of the woody notes coming through. Oh, yeah. A little bit more aromatic than the uh, the regular version of this. It's not a an alcohol smell. It's a barrel smell. I need to get a little bit more of those spices. Is this here. like is this just barrel aged or whiskey barrels? Bar oh, okay, whiskey barrels. I mean, it could just be oak barrels. Who knows? Just from the smell. I mean, I trust them that they are whiskey barrels, but. A little more flavor, a little bit more alcohol, I feel like. I can taste a little bit of the, the whiskey barrel. Still no pumpkin. Please take the pumpkin off the barrel, Epic Brewing, or the barrel. The label, Epic Brewing. <laughs> yeah, it's the whiskey. It tastes like whiskey. Yeah, it's a little more of an alcohol whiskey kick instead of a barrel kick, but it's not like a kick. It's no. just a flavor. The whiskey itself flavor. has a nice oakiness to it. It has sometimes some cherry, some vanilla. 
But I mean, they say Madagascar vanilla beans in here. Those ain't coming through. This is all just the barrel talking right now. This honestly does feel like they took, which they did, but they took that last beer, they put it in a barrel for maybe a week, and they gave it to us. And that barrel did make a little bit of a difference, I feel like. It did. I mean, this is a better beer, in mm -hmm. my opinion. For sure, it's better. But it fails as a pumpkin beer. No pumpkin in here. Good lord. I'm, I want to go downstairs and get some pumpkin spice in my pantry and just put it in here. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some night owl from Elysian that we still have and put that in the fridge. I'm missing in my pumpkin. Yeah, this is real. Like, this is wild that they like let this go because this could be a great just porter by itself. Like, I would love this as a porter by itself, a barrel yeah. aged porter, but it's ruined because they call it a pumpkin porter. Yeah, and I mean, if you've tasted this before. And you get pumpkin? I mean, let us know down in the comments below. I feel like we can't be the only ones that are striking out on pumpkin here. There's no way because it's fresh. Like, it's not like a we got an old no, bottle. No, it's just released. It's I saw fresh. it at the bottle shop, picked yeah. them up, got excited. I'm pretty confident in this one that we're giving it low ratings because, yes, it's a great porter, and this one's a little bit better than the last because of the barrel aging, but you promised me pumpkin, you better give me pumpkin. Yeah, and because of that, I'm going to have to go 2.75. Yeah, I'd give it a 2.5. It's tasty, it's just... Uh, it's yeah. better than the other, the just the base, if you will. For sure. Um, there's a little bit more flavor. Is it a whiskey flavor? Is it a barrel flavor? Honestly, don't know, don't care. Definitely whiskey, but it's not strong. It's pleasant if you are a whiskey drinker, but honestly... As a pumpkin beer, which is what I bought it for, it fails hard. Okay, so let me ask you this, and don't put this up here when you edit it. What would you? This what would you rate this as? Just a porter, no pumpkin porter. Just if it was just labeled as a porter. Maybe a three point two five. I would probably give this like a three point seven five. Like it's it's really good. I really like it. And I'm just really upset that it's called it's called stuff a pumpkin porter. I mean that's why I got it. That's why we're here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's just this reminds me of last year when Ralph and I tried to find pumpkin stuff and they didn't taste like pumpkin. Um, I was really hoping for something good here and it just didn't deliver. But it's not a drain pour. We're gonna finish it. We're gonna enjoy it. It's still summer. So it's okay. <laughs> There's a lot of more pumpkin beers out there. If we were to drink this in November and it was still this good, I still would be upset because I don't want a pumpkin beer in November. We'll work to keep our <laughs> eyes out. Plus Oktoberfest beers, which you're not a big fan of. But I'm trying to find me some good Oktoberfest beers. So if you have any recommendations, let us know in the comments below. Oktoberfest pumpkin. We're looking for them. We're going to review them. But that does it for today's beer review. Like, share, subscribe, do all the things. They help us out a lot. And until next we meet, we're the Rumatures trying every beer from around the world. Wine sip at a time. time.